Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we're looking at density questions. Please do stop the video, have a go at the question and then compare your solutions. These videos are aimed at around about grade five GCSE maths. If you're not sure, please do add a comment at the end. I'll always come back to you. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we're looking at density type questions. Now, as before, please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solution. These particular questions are a little bit wordy, but hopefully you'll be able to follow through. And they're based at roughly about grade five uh, of a GCSE. These are part of what they call compound measures. OK, so a solid cylinder is made of wood it's a radius of that the height of that the cylinder is a mass of that work out the density of the wood okay so one of the um, formulas that you need for this is density equals mass divided by volume okay well we're all right because we've been told the mass is 392 grams so we're okay with that one all we've got to do is work out the volume okay now it is a cylinder so therefore um, as we did before we're going to look at volume equals area times depth. Okay, well, um, to work out the volume of a cylinder, it's the area of a circle. So it's actually this area at the top multiplied by the depth of three. So an area of a circle is pi r squared. And you do need to remember these sorts of formulas. We're going to multiply that by the depth of three. So pi. Now r in this particular case is eight centimeters, which is the radius. So it's eight squared times three. OK, now I'm going to put that in a calculator. I don't uh, I've got 64, which is eight squared times three. Well, that's going to give me 192 pi. OK, and if you pop that in the calculator, that's what you'll get. Now, there is a temptation, I think, sometimes with these to then say, well, if I keep pressing the SD key and I keep getting the uh, decimal equivalent, I'm going to get some really long number, which is 603.1857895. And so it goes on. <laughs> OK, um, it might be better, particularly because you're going to take this piece of information and put it into the formula to actually just leave it as 192 pi. So it's just a little bit neater to write the mass is 392 divided by the volume of 192 pi. OK, and it means then that when you pop that into your calculator, so you're going to get your density of 0 0.64988 grams per centimetre cubed. OK, now you would have got it by putting that number into here, but it's just sort of a little bit neater to leave it in terms of pi first. OK, so um, give the answer correct to two significant figures. Well, to two significant figures, that's going to be 0 0.65 grams per centimeter cubed. OK, and that would be the answer to that particular question. OK, if you're not sure, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. OK, let's have a look at the next one, which is um, probably uh, going from about grade five to grade six. It's that sort of wordy type question. So it does take a little bit of working through. But seawater has a density of 1.02 grams per centimeter cubed. 255 grams of seawater mixed into some fresh water to form coastal water. Coastal water has a mass of that, density of that, find the density of the fresh water. OK, so what we're going to be doing here is applying the density equals mass divided by volume formula for those three uh, components of so seawater, fresh water and coastal water. But what I would normally do is just sort of sketch this out. OK, so we've got seawater. Here it is. OK, here's some seawater. OK, I'll just put that there and it's 1.02 grams per centimetre cubed. OK, and in the next line, it says we're going to use 255 grams of it. OK, well, that's fine. So it will allow me then to work out the volume of seawater that we've got. So let's have a look at that. So density. 
equals mass divided by volume. Okay, remember it's the volume I'm looking for. Okay, so that's going to give me a density of 1.02. My mass is 255 and my volume is whatever my volume is. Okay, now there's a little bit of algebra that you need to do here. And it's just a little bit beyond the scope of this particular video, but basically you need to multiply both sides by volume, okay, and then divide both sides by 1.02. Now, if you're not sure about that, the sort of quick fix is to say, is to swap those two over, that volume equals 255 divided by 1.02, and what you'll get is 250 centimeters cubed. And that's the volume of seawater that we've used, okay? So let's have a look now at uh, the next bit of it, which is some fresh water. Well, we don't know anything really about the fresh water so I'm just going to leave it there for the moment just like that okay so let's have a look then at the next bit of information that we've got well we've got coastal water okay here's my coast okay now what are we told about it well we're told that the density is 1.015 grams per centimetre cubed and we've got a mass of 304.5 grams. Okay well that's fine because again we can work out the volume using our density equals mass divided by volume formula. So density equals mass divided by volume. And again, I would try to encourage you to always write the formula each time. Apart from it does help you to remember the formula, but also it just shows very clearly your thinking, the way that you're putting your uh, question and answer, your answer together. So density is 1.015. Um, mass we know is 3 0.4.5 divided by the volume. Okay, well, again, a little bit of algebra manipulation. You need to just play around with that. If you're not sure about how to do that, add a comment and I'll send you a, a playlist of other algebra uh, type questions. Okay, but that's going to give you a volume of 300 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we know now that the seawater is 250 centimeters cubed and the coastal water is 300 centimeters cubed. So therefore, we can use this information to work out the density of the freshwater because density equals mass divided by volume. I've written this out what, three times on this particular question now, so I'm sure going to remember this type of formula. Well, just be very careful here because your mass is going to be the difference between the coastal water and the fresh water. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, the seawater, the difference between the two. So it's going to be 304.5 minus 255. OK, and then the volume of the fresh water is going to be the difference between the volume of the coastal water and the volume of the seawater. So that's going to be 300 minus 250. OK, so a little bit of uh, you've got to be a little bit careful about this. So this little bit here is the difference between the um, the mass of the coastal water and the seawater. And then this at the bit at the bottom here is the volume of the coastal water take away the volume of the seawater. OK, so therefore pop that in a calculator. That's going to give me 0 0.99 grams per centimetre cubed, which is the answer to this particular question. OK, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below. If you're not sure about anything, I'll always come back to you. Um, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.